I didn't actually, I didn't feel like doing a little thing at the start. I actually didn't have any plans of doing this stream today. Well, actually I did, but I was with my family, so I didn't exactly get to do at the time I wanted to, so I thought I was not going to do it at all, but something changed within me. But, yeah, hopefully I beat Raiden Shogun today. I did not do my mission quest yet. I don't feel like doing them right now. I'll do that after a stream or I just will forget to do it entirely. Alright, Ryan Sh Shogun. I'm gonna fuck Ryan Shogun up. I've been I've been going through intense training. Mm -hmm, intense training, including um, grinding for artifacts, so all my characters have the best artifacts now, and um, grinding for talent resources. I've been doing a lot. I've been doing a lot, man. You! Mate, I gotta go to the statue to fight your god. Can't catch me. Bugger off. Is which country says bugger off? Or did I make that up? There's no way. Don't see. Okay, plane of you find me. Let's go. If this stream is just me doing attempting this fight over and over again, it's okay. Cause sometimes it be like that, man. I really do not care. I really to those people. Oh? If so, then not so. The vision hut to the Fatui's actions thus far. Individual what you might I really don't care, right in show again. Those traveler, there seems to be so I won't insist. That's right. Anyway. I really don't care. Hmm. So be it. Do you wish to become the enemy of eternity, Traveler? Who wants some of this? Can't strike dead. You know that? That scene where. Oopsie. I love this game because if I need to switch my character, it just will not let me. Hey. She's losing more HP quicker than before. I'd, I'd consider that a win. Goodbye, world. Down. See? Strike 
I hate Yai Miko. Um, Yai Miko? No, I I hate Ryan Shogun. <laughs> Ryan Miko. Yai Miko. Yai Miko did nothing wrong. It was all Ryan Shogun. Oh god. Now she's level 80 because that's my what my world level made her. Uh, do I switch my world level back or... I guess that's for pussies. Yeah, I'm not a pussy. I'm always on venti by the time that this shit starts. Twelve HP. That was just a warm up. Absolutely just a warm up. I'm gonna use Pokemon's um, healing abilities because I I don't want to be wasting my Urgeny power. Fun fact about me, I didn't know that Urgenerative power was a thing until I had I was in Eden Zuma with my friends. And he was like, hey, can I regenerate out your statue? And I was like, what are you talking about? What, are you, what do you mean regenerating my statue? He was like, oh, like, you know. Heal up your statue. The warrant is for you. Oh, no. I was like, you can do that. I, I, I played the whole game, thinking that the only way for you to heal up was by eating food. Or using healing attacks. I didn't know. I was like thinking before. Hey, why isn't there like a way to get my um health back to full quickly? The vision hut. The Fatui's actions thus far do individual. What you might not realize. Consider this. Rather, those who are traveler. There seems to be. So, I won't. That's right. Anyway. Hmm. So be it. Your arrival has brought a deafening static. Can't catch me. Huh. Wait, the does it automatically heal my um people back to full? That may have been a waste, but I really don't care. Because my focus is just killing Ryan and Shogun. This is my favorite part of the game because you get to hurt Ryan and Shogun. In some an kind of way. Foundations of eternity. You are an 
enemy that requires special attention. Alright. Let's see what, what what food items do I have? Is this the ha and how to sneak on me? I I guess. Okay. <laughs> Fisherman's toast. Always my go-to. Well, actually, you've never. I don't think you guys have ever seen me actually use Fisherman's Toast, but it's my go-to if I'm playing with more than half my brain cells. I think Ito narrowly escaped death. I haven't, like, quite memorized her moves yet. Just beat right an easy clap. Shut the fuck up! Respectfully. Respectfully shut up. She's not. She's not. Um. She's not laying up the. Okay. Who is knocking at my door? I will go insane. I. I just hear someone vaguely knocking at my door, and I'm going to go ballistic. Oh my god! Ryan, get away from me. Can I- can I have my moves back, Ryan? That'd be very appreciated. Close. Oh, how the hell are you here? Miko, this was your doing? <sighs> now, now. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Though you alone no, are here, Mommy? 
They too have ambitions, which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. <laughs> Abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. Hold on. Guys, can you hear- can, is the sound good? I know I just like, randomly asked that question during the middle of a fight. This- this song kinda goes hard. It kinda goes crazy stupid hard. No! <laughs> I may hate this character a lot, but she do kind of have a banger theme. Okay, we're we're doing we're doing damage. <laughs> Kokomi kind of clutching things. let myself take the damage because I knew I was going to make up for it anyways. Uh, the, invin the invincibility? Let's go. I like Raiden Shogun by the time I finished Omnipresence over Mortals. I don't think this that's gonna happen, but maybe some people in the crowd would like to stay faithful to I'll be a Kamo Raiden fan. I mean her theme is good, that's about it so far. If this is mostly just me be Kokomi fighting rather than any of my other characters. Wasn't too bad. You've lost, eh? <sighs> yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people and in the power of their ambitions? These ambitions have transcended space and time. 
there's something that no one can snuff out. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey in Liyue? There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. Shut up. I... Eternity. Eternity is the only way. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen a nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still, will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream. For a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. The heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. True, bestie. True. When all said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma forever and ever. Isn't that right? <laughs> that would be something of an oversimplification. But is this nation worth existing for eternity? Stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change, it does nothing more than simply... exist. It is a hollow shell of a nation. Hmm. I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed? Nico. Retract your words. Ma. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. <laughs> you mean visions? Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses. But I have experienced it all. That is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. Bro, just take the L right in. Oh, but eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? Uh, for me? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. But it is necessary. You will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss, but have you considered all you are losing by remaining here in stasis for all eternity? You are obviously lonely, and yet, for the sake of eternity, you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? This is your plane of euthymia. It's your inner world, so it can only mean that you are happy to see me again. You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? I... Uh, 
have nothing to say to that. <laughs> but I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. <laughs> How long will that take? As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity. So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> Nico, I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again. I love Pia. Yeah, me too so much. <sighs> Seeing you again is a change to eternity. And a very nice surprise. <laughs> Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? <laughs> what a childish conversation this is. Anyway, now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. But, with regards to eternity, and the question of whether this nation should move forward, I need time to give it some thought. Okay, what's really getting me is the fact that she didn't be like, yo, this is a compelling argument. I I believe that we should not um limit the ambitions of my people. She was just like, you won, so I'll give it to you. I'll, I'll give you a stub. Like, she doesn't see anything functionally wrong with that, and that's what bothers me. <laughs> You are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. As promised, the Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory, Mail to wife? inspire hope. But some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning. Burning bright and true for all eternity. Why does it feel like a credit scene should roll now, even though the game's not over? Well, it's not going to be over for a long, long time. That would have been the perfect place for credits to roll. I'm struggling the load. So what do you guys do in the Raiden right Shogun's plane of Euthymia anyway? Is the Vision Hunt decree abolished? Oh, gotcha. So maybe the reason you If it isn't the triumphant traveler. And why might you be visiting the shrine? A sign of piety, perhaps. You literally told us to come meet you here! Shut Paimon. <laughs> I was just joking. I've been waiting for you. Seems like someone's in a pre- Mm-hmm. 
Catching up with an old friend I hadn't seen in years was truly delightful. By the way, I heard that you had a duel before the throne, with a Fatui Harbinger no less. Courageous and astute. I must say, I am most impressed. Defeating Signora head-on in a duel means that your strength exceeds my expectations. Still, you did end up victorious. I gather congratulations are in order. <sighs> sure feels good to fake cause plenty of trouble along the way, but at the very least, they didn't get their hands on another notice. Wait a second. Did you say no- as in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece? Yep, that's the one! You've seen one too? No sees belong to the seven! There we- Oh. What's wrong? I handed that over. <laughs> I like saw a spoiler for this part before, so I was like, um... You did what now? Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the balladeer exactly? The balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he's super- I'm not the kind of person who risks life and limb for any old reason. <laughs> After A created her puppet vessel, she no longer had anywhere to put it. As her erstwhile closest friend, A handed it over to me. And I've kept it in the- She no longer needs the power of the Gnosis, and in any case, she tells me she has severed ties with Celestia. Thus the Gnosis became not only useless, but also a potential source of conflict. Is that not a good bargain? Exchanging it for the one at the core of the plan? Judging by the results, at least, I dare say I struck a good deal. Mm -hmm. <sighs> when you put it like that, Paimon has to agree. <sighs> well, what's done is done, and Paimon heartily thinks we'll be getting it. Um, so, anyway... <laughs> really? You intend to travel all over to Vat, and the time has come for the Inazuma leg of your trip to come to an end. As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about the road ahead, or... What would you like to know about? That puppet was built with technology that has been lost to time. Still, there is one other th Before A began modifying her own godly form... So, you mean... No. The prototype was merely a proof of concept. Its appearance... The original plan was for A to simply discard it. But perhaps A thought this to be too cruel, because in the end she chose only to seal the power within it. Later, this puppet wandered Inazuma as an ordinary human male with his own consciousness. Until... the Fatui took an interest in him. Wait, Scaramouche... is part of right what? Uh, Some eccentric geniuses in the ranks of the Fatui made adjustments to the prototype. Not only unsealing his power, but very likely rendering him even more formidable than his original- mm -hmm. The object of divine creation is now the one who has taken possession of the Gnosis. What the? It is, isn't it? Who can say whether it's... I'm surprised an outlander like you is aware that there was once a change of Electro Archon. Morax told us. He said that the Electro Archon Ball has passed away. Yes. The truth of the matter is that there were two twin gods, Baal and Beelzebul. Twin gods? They won the Archon War together. And when Baal established the Shogunate, Beelzebul became her Kagemusha, oh, or Shadow Warrior. That's the other person. In other that words, she acted as Baal's body double. Beelzebul is A, with whom we are now both acquainted. Baal's name was Makoto. As far as the world was aware, there were not two but one. They complemented each other, and they ruled Inazuma jointly. In fact, the name Baal and the title of Raiden Shogun was understood to refer to both of them. To what? Makoto died several hundred years ago in a war that I was not personally involved in. Since losing That's my sister sad. must have been super hard on A. That was when A began to change. Makoto was her greatest loss. Paimon feels like she understands A. I didn't spend a great deal of time with her, but my impression was she was a gentle god, who in each moment cherished the beauty of what was before her. Wow. Sorry. I haven't a clue. I'm also un- But if you still have doubts about A, I would say they are misplaced. Not only does she not fit your description, 
but she voluntarily gave up her gnosis. That's good to hear. Otherwise, given that I'm her from. Don't worry. We are looking. <laughs> Bro, our relationships are a bit awkward. May you soon discover I the will truth never forgive Fred and Shogun. As for your sister's whereabouts, I will use all the resources at my disposal to investigate it. And I will also bar- I'll let you know if I find out anything. After leaving Inazuma, hmm, I think it would be easiest for you to go to Sumeru. Yes, well, Sumeru is the land of the god of wisdom. So the they'll have to unlock Dendro because they're, we're literally going to Sumeru, which is... Isn't it that the area where the Dendro Archon is? So they're gonna have to add Dendro before they add Sumeru. But their obsession gives rise to some truly inexplicable things. For example... In Sumeru, knowledge is holistically managed as a resource. Knowledge is... Yes. I don't know whether it was the sages or Lesser Lord Kusanali who came up with the idea. Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh, you haven't heard. Lesser Lord Kusanali is the deity in whom the people of Sumeru place their faith. It's the... I'm sure you must have some things to discuss with her too. I would... Are you sure? Okay, then. Keep it safe. Is that- There was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world, telling everyone who inquired that it was given to you by none other than Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. Who in their right mind would do that? Me? Me? I would. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I see. But that is merely a... Your ambition should be something that transcends the world below and the starry sky above. Something that shines in unison with fate itself. Perhaps the reason you do not possess a vision is that such an ambition has yet to be engendered within you. It's a possibility. Continue on your journey. Well, oh, I forgot that I need to level up pencil skills still. As for the quests I can do. Suppose I'll try the Red and Shogun quest. Given to the will of every creature. Each fish and Because if I don't do Ryan Shogun's quest, I won't be able to do anyone else's quest. Naturally. They forced my hand to do Ryan Shogun's quest. It's my third time in a row getting this quest right. What gliding be faster? 
I don't know if there's like any sort of method to it. I just get it right every single time. I was playing Genshin with my friend and I was telling her which one to choose. Not like based off what I chose, but like based on what I thought would, would be it and it was not it, so it's weird. It's like basic. It's like a turkey, you know? Like how you you get three strikes in a row, you get turkey. That's me with this very specific commission quest. I think I've done this quest before. I would have thought I would have, have done all, all the quests. Maybe miraculously after I do um no, the Raiden Shogun quest, maybe then I'll be a fan of Raiden. It's not gonna happen, but maybe. And there are other art conquests to do. So my work definitely is not entirely done here. Can't catch me. I'm just gonna destroy the towers and leave, to be honest. So die. Who wants some of this? Can't catch me. Let's roll. Can't catch me. I don't have any reason to. Uh, I mess with these guys anymore. Oh, I'm so tired of this impregnable defense quest. It's not hard at all, but it's just so annoying. Just because... Oh wait, no. I was thinking of a different one. Brace yourself! You're not even part of this quest, yeah, you're attacking my mainline line of quest. Fuck off.
you can get away? Well, all that, all well that ends well for me. Traveler, right on cue. <laughs> hey, hey, I. Got any new commissions for us today? I was here for some uh, something different, but how okay. You look so happy to see us. What have you done? I went to the shrine to draw a fortune slip earlier. The shrine maiden told me that it is the season for an unexpected reunion. Catherine, drawing fortune slips at the shrine. Unusual part? We're in Lila! You went to Inazuma and back in a single day? <laughs> Even I have a private life, you know. I like how there's this ongoing joke in the game about how um Catherine like instant teleports between all places in the world. Okay, so when you say unexpected Who can say? But the anticipation of knowing that an unexpected reunion is due is making me happy to see everyone I call- Fair enough! Even though we see each other pretty much every day, what a- Wait, are you saying? Fingers crossed we find her. I'm sorry. Did I say something I shouldn't have? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, back you to already found her, though. Do you have a new commission you want to give to us? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. This one is from a minor. It seems to be related- Really? Does this mean the chasm's not- I will leave the requester to fill you in on all the relevant details. His name is you at- Alright then. Thanks, Kat. Very well. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Hmm. This time you are truly bound for the Abyss. Oh my god, it's like me and Abyss. Good luck to you both. That shit's crazy. Thank you for compl- Add Astra- Alright, let's look at my quest menu. Let's look at just... Oh, I think this is related to dance belief. Let's flip a coin. Let's go to Wheel Decide and we'll decide what I do for today. WheelDecide.com. Fuck! Didn't mean to do that. Raiden. Dang. Alright. Let's see what the wheel chooses. It chooses right in Shogun. Okay. We'll see if Raiden ever... Let's see. We'll see what kind of person Raiden is now because, you know, I'm kind of curious. I may hate her guts, but I'm kind of curious who she is now. What a 
gliding be faster? In the time the mission won't assist in dealing with the thunderstorm, the consequences could be catastrophic. It's not that we're unwilling to do our part. We just don't have exactly. So let's keep the discussion. Hey, Toma, what's going on? Ah, hello, you two. We were just talking about what an impact you've made in Inazuma. Okay. I, I, I approve of Ryan's story quest now just because I get to see Toma. Greetings. Thank you both again for delivering Miss Hiragi's letter that time. Ah, so they're friends of yours. I'm Master Kamaji's servant. Call me Ippe. Well, the Tri Commission's work used to consist of gathering information for the Shogun and carrying out any duties she assigned. But recently, she announced that she wishes to spend some time in solitude and self-reflection. Since she is refusing to receive any visitors, there is no one to tell us what to do. We all understand if the show can so some much. quiet time to gather her thoughts. The only problem is, in the meantime, the thunderstorm out at sea has been getting wilder. Yep, that's the one. And all the time it's been there, the storm has never changed in shape or size. But now, it seems to be drawing closer to Inazuma. What? Change that she wants to destroy Inazuma now? Or is this her? Oh, yeah, you're right. If she really wanted to get revenge on us, she could just strike us with lightning right here, which would also be pretty scary. <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about that. The reason we're concerned is that we've never known the Almighty Shogun's will to falter before. Considering Liu as God left not too long ago, it's hard not to take it as a bad sign. A lot of people now believe that the thunderstorm is getting wilder because the almighty Shogun is having health problems. The fact that she won't see anyone right now makes us concerned that things are only going to get worse. Right. So, before rumors start spreading, Miss Kamisato got me to come here and discuss countermeasures with the Tenryo Commission. We need to make sure we're prepared to deal with the chaos if- Unfortunately, the reality is that the Tenryo Commission is facing huge internal instability at the moment. The Kujo clan has lost control over the other clans. Huh? What? The Kujo clan is still awaiting the Shogun's trial for colluding with the Fatui and nearly destroying the whole of Inazuma. Everyone knows <laughs> that a change of commissioner is inevitable. It's just a matter of time before the Almighty Shogun hands down her decree. To put it simply, yes, no one will take orders from the Kujo clan anymore. But there's still work that has to be done. <sighs> if Mr. Takayuki was in better health... My lack of ability is to blame. I failed to uncover the truth in time. I failed to stop my father. And now, that's acting- Don't blame yourself, Master. You have to at least keep your chin up until your older brother returns. The Kujo clan- Yes, you're right. Masahito has enough on his plate at the moment. It mustn't cause any more issues. Okay, Toma, let's revisit this discussion in a few days. Right now, I need to go visit Takatsukasa oh, Susano. Dude, Thomas, clan. hang up, but He's the only so one capable of so taking badly. charge of the situation. I can do it on Tuesday. So excited for that. <sighs> I suppose. Well, okay, no problem. A speedy resolution to the Tenryo Commission's internal issues is in our best interest as well. I'll come with you, Master. Uh, no need. I'll handle this by myself. Oh, uh, okay. Take care, then. If you think about it, both the thunderstorm situation and the issue with the Tenryo Commission have been caused by the Shogun's decision to take. If things carry on like this, people will start to. Huh? You can actually do that? Don't know for sure, but we may as well try. Whether she takes us up on the offer or not will depend on what mood she's in. Sounds like you guys know what to do. Uh, shall I leave it up to you then? Well, I to my wife. Everyone's worrying about the Shogun's condition, but if people got to see her in person, it would put their fears to rest. <sighs> Thank you very much. I owe you one. Again. I'm only doing this for Koma. There's only one person who might have the chance to see the Shogun while she's isolating, right? Let's take a trip to the Grand Narukami Shrine! I didn't mean to jump off that cliff. Hmm. 
something new should be over here. I wasn't expecting to receive VIP shrine visitors during downtime. <laughs> so I suppose you're here just to visit me? What a smooth talker. Though your eyes do not lie as convincingly as your tongue. You came because you need my help. Still, your answer has put me in a good mood. So tell me. We heard the Shogun decided to take a break. And since rumor has it that the thunderstorm is affected by the Shogun's will. Oh. <laughs> All right. There's little purpose in keeping it. Since the battle, the Shogun has been greatly troubled and her temperament has changed drastically. What? Her power was already on the decline. Then you dealt her that fateful strike. The defeat was a heavy blow to her. It also That's didn't why. that I forgot to bring her some tricolor dongo and light novels when I went to see her. They have light novels? I mean, is there more like manga type things? I, I know light novels are not manga. Hello, Diego. How are you doing? Oh, the poor thing. Without desserts and books to console herself with, she was so angry she quite simply lost it. Crying and ranting and raving. Sounds like a child oh, doing having a temper temper way. tantrum. You expect us to believe that a god would throw a temper tantrum over something like <laughs> Before you get too indignant, consider the fact that your concerns sound every bit as nonsensical to me as that blatant lie did to you. Fay seeks eternity. To her, mortal lives come and go in the blink of an eye. Of what consequence to her are mortal concerns for her well-being? Uh, I don't know the details. She said she wanted to rest, and I have nothing I'm doing that well. requires her attention. I took so a no hour to nap today, her. so I'm refreshed. I have heard about the thunderstorm, though. As to the cause, it is not inconceivable. I am the only one in all of Inazuma who can visit. But tell me, why should this concern me? Why should I do this for you, when I already have everything one could ever want, and have seen everything one could ever wish to see? <laughs> I like that answer. A lot of text, that's true. Here is Mucho the past text, though. Show it to the Okuzume Thanks, Miko! My question was in jest, but since you answered it in earnest, please stay true to your word. Oh, and don't forget to return the pass permit to me after you have finished with it. Hey, I can offer. Uh, useless. That's a lot. Oh, hey, I have. Wait, no, I don't have that yet. Never mind. But my electro gnom level went up, but no. It did not. The Almighty Shogun has requested solitude. No visitors. Oh, allowed. immediately the moment I teleported in. Oh, we've got a pass permit from Miko. Don't be ridiculous. Lady Guji never gives her pass permit to another person. Not even esteemed travelers. Like oh, yourselves. shut the fuck up. You're an NPC. You literally have no. The fine design. You are literally worthless in the, in the, in the. You are literally worthless. Thank you. I'm glad you like my hat. It's so cute. Right. Gujiai is only authorized to hold that pass permit because of the trust that the Almighty Shogun places in her and her alone. Wait. This is... authentic. Understood. Then as the Shogun has ordered, I must not stand in your way. Apologies. Please proceed. Apology not accepted, time, bitch. Please be especially respectful, and make sure your behavior is impeccable.
<laughs> She's just walking around. I will insult those who deserve to be insulted, aka that random Inazuma guy, I already forgot the name. <laughs> There's your random noises. How did you get in? Trespassers are to be eliminated at once. Wait, no, it's us! Why are you treating us like we're your enemies? We made amends, didn't we? Also, we got in by totally legitimate means! Denied. Use of force has been forbidden. <sighs> anyway, be gone. Do not disturb my solitude. That is of no concern. This is my recuperation state. Oh my god. Raiden, shut up. Uh, what did you make of this? She's acting strange, huh? This body has no need of rest. But I am an assistant to the one within. If she wishes to rest, I must follow her will. She's so puppet. Paimon gets it. So this is all Ace doing. Why? Surely you going about your business doesn't interfere with the plane of Euthymia. She's got plenty of space in there. Seems like it would be the perfect place for rest and relaxation. I do as she wishes. I can say no more than this. I cannot. In my current state, even if I went out, I could do nothing. I am currently unwilling to deal with any business. I am also incapable of it. What do you mean by that? Hmm. It has been forbidden. <sighs> Please refrain from making me talk any further. Uh, what should we do? It feels like this conversation is going nowhere. <laughs> Have you malfunctioned? I mean, she is basically a robot, so am I as well. Oh, it's you too. It's been a while. Sorry, you missed the fights. The fights were at the beginning of the stream. But maybe we'll have some fights. They'll probably let us play as Raiden. The Shogun can't do much at the moment. Come straight in and see me. your first time. I don't see what there is to be so alarmed about. True. So, is the shotgun broken? Are you gonna get it fixed, or...? Don't worry. The shogun's not broken. I've just... temporarily disabled many of her functions. Currently, the shogun is unable to handle any business and cannot appear as me. So the easiest solution was to announce that I am resting. As I said, I need to think about Inazuma's eternity, and thinking takes time. But the Shogun is still running based on her old rules. I can't allow her to make any mistakes while I am working things out. That is true. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> Shut up, Paimon. No. She was not created to ever be turned off. Furthermore, I had even predicted at the time that I may wish to modify the Shogun's operational rules at some point in the future. However, such changes would not be conducive to eternity. That's why the Shogun has a robust system to safeguard against modification. 
It's also to protect against unforeseen circumstances. For now, while I figure out the form that eternity should take, it's more effective for me to temporarily disable some of the puppet's functions, rather than attempt to modify her rules. Are we ever gonna see Raiden Shogun, like, actually come out of the area and into the real world? I mean, the planet you find me on and into the real world instead of her puppet? because some of the shogun's functions have been disabled my husband and genshin will always be venti or maybe tomo would make him make more sense my wife would be ayaka well yeah i guess venti would be my husband Because Venti is my favorite character, but I'm not sure if it's like. I, I'm not sure if. I'm not sure if I would. If it's like that, you know? Hmm? The thunderstorm is getting out of control? This is the first I've heard of it. Huh? Okay, well. Hmm, I see. So the thunderstorm is drawing closer. I'm glad you think so. What's your... It, who's your husband, wife, and Genshin? You can fix it! Right? It's just a minor error. This kind of thing was bound to happen. A small modification to the Shogun should fix it. Don't look at me like that. I've never had to tinker with the Shogun before, and she's very complicated. It's practically inevitable for something to go wrong when you start tweaking things. Yes, that's it. I'm not making excuses. It's the truth. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Just as long as you can fix it. They are all my husband. Baze, good answer. <sighs> not much. As before... I can see the way forward, yet there are still contradictions. But there is no urgency. To reach an ill-conceived verdict in haste, just for the sake of having reached one, would be a confusion of priorities. is in good health, it'll put all the speculation on room, and who knows? A change of scenery might put you in a different mood and give you some- uh, You mean, leave the plane of Euthymia? It's unnecessary, as far as I'm concerned. But since you're inviting me, a change of pace might well be nice. All right then, I'll come out for a while. Oh, since the theme of the day is a change of pace, you can just call me A. I'm not a great fan of rigid titles. I thought that... I thought... Instead of titles, I thought that it said I'm not a great fan of rigid titties. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> what? But you just ask consciousness, aren't you? Can consciousness actually leave this place? I have my ways. I would never subject myself to imprisonment voluntarily. Tour guides? What's a tour guide? <laughs> someone to show you around the Inazuma of today and give you tips on where to eat and how to have fun. All right, let's go, go, go. When I upload this to YouTube, I want to change the thumbnail to just a really stretched image of Raiden.
Good night, Diego. Hope you have a good rest. from how I remember it. Huh. The stores have changed, and so have the vendors. Well, that's to be expected. <gasps> it's... the Shogun! What is the almighty Shogun doing here? Uh, isn't the Shogun sick? This is quite sudden. Uh, I appear to have frightened the people. Well, what did you expect? The almighty Shogun um, I'd be like pretty pissed after what she did. Just saying. Patrolling the streets is the Tenryo Commission's job. The Shogun has a lot of information to process and orders to give out. She doesn't have time to deal with it herself. Additionally, the Shogun has no need of recreation. There would be no need for her to come here just to pass the time or to relax. So, what do we do now? Should we go away for a while and make a more low profile return later? Why? It's not like I'm here to cause trouble. Let's just relax. True. It was more the ordinary people that Paimon was worried about. Oh? Uh, never mind. This definitely seems like your style, eh? That girl looked like she was getting fucking wet over right in. <laughs> not gonna lie. People still use Mora in commercial transactions, I assume. Yep, same as ever. Just as shiny and just as hypnotic. Wait a second. Oh, gosh. I do a... Of course I don't. There is no need for commerce in the plain of Euthymia. If I ever need something, I can simply have one of the commissions bring it to me. Wait, what do you mean... Either. Anyway, people seem to be behaving in a very orderly fashion. I don't see the liveliness you spoke of anywhere. Uh, people aren't exactly gonna let their hair down in front of the almighty Shogun. What? Oh, you're mm. pathfinding? Oh my god. Selling? I don't believe I've ever seen this before. What's the Shogun doing here? What am I supposed to do in this situation? I'm so nervous. I wouldn't know what to do it either. Oh wait, I'd punch her. Shogun, I uh... <laughs> Excuse me. It's alright. Relax. I'm just here to look around. I'm having a change of pace today. Could you tell me about the items you're selling? Of course. I've got all kinds of snacks here. Takoyaki, dango, and uh, uh, milk and so on. Milk. Huh? Milk? <laughs> For real. Like the odd one it might sound odd, but... It is, in fact, my specialty. You see, many of the stores in town are already very well established. I couldn't compete with them no matter what I sell. So my idea was to create some new combinations to give customers a novel experience. For example, my latest concoction is this dango milk. When the dango are worked into a viscous form, they mix very nicely with the milk. The focus is not just the taste, but also the unique texture. Oh, dango with milk. Hmm. I've never heard of it. What made you want to do this? Uh, I'm sorry, Shogun. I've got no bone to pick with eternity. I said relax. <laughs> you don't need to go treading on eggshells. Bro. Do you really think the eternity I pursue is something that can be shaken by... <laughs> huh. Why do I feel like she's different than I expected? Actually, it came to me by chance. A friend was catering once and made too many dango, so they gave some to me. But there were more than I had used for. My milk wasn't selling well at that time either. And both dango and milk have a short shelf life. So I thought I'd try mixing the two as I had nothing to lose. 
To my surprise, in the right proportion, it tasted superb. A chance combination. Hmm, interesting. May I try this drink? The Almighty Shogun wants to try? Well, well certainly. And you two should try it too. Poor guy, he's freaking the fuck out. Hmm. Nice. It's sweet. <laughs> the sensation is not so different from eating a dessert. <laughs> a unique beverage, indeed. I want Raiden to, like, promote his business. Raiden, promote small businesses like Jean Li. is only superficial. Anyway, I like it. Oh, thank you for the follow, KUP. Thank you for the raid, KUP. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? I imagine that an item as delicious as this dongle milk must sell exceptionally well, no? <laughs> well, I won't lie to you. Sales are very average. You better change that. Uh, you better change that right in. Huh? So it's selling slowly? Why is that? I'm so I'm sorry to hear that you have a sore throat and stomach. I actually had a stomach ache earlier. I um at my workplace when the customers told me that some carbonated drinks might might help to aid with a stomach ache, but I didn't try it. I hope your throat gets better soon. Make sure to drink some a lot of water. I'm doing pretty all right though. I I'm pretty refreshed since I did a nap before my stream. I also watched Moon Knight with my family a bit. Uh, just, fa just recently finished episode 3 before I started the stream. Uh, because most people aren't willing to give it a try. They think it's an unusual combination. Even though everyone who's tried it before rates it highly. I'm not saying the Almighty Shogun has unusual tastes. Please, don't take it- Ah, oh, I see. Well, that can be <laughs> oh, oh, okay, right. Have the Yashiro Commission order a few hundred cups and go door to door delivering them. No, 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 Almighty Shogun, that's too much. Is it? I just want them to try it. It would be a shame for them to miss out on Dongo milk. I. Uh... Oh, I would. <laughs> no need. That would be needlessly indulgent. I don't even think she needs safe food. I don't think gods need to eat food, so I think she should get another cup. I kind of want to try the dongo milk now. I feel like someone, out, some Genshin YouTuber out there has probably made it. <sighs> There's nothing like dessert for improving one's mood. Much more enjoyable than meditating alone all the time. By the way, Miko mentioned that she founded something called the Yai Publishing House to sell some sort of light novel she's always bragging to me about it but it's difficult for me to really imagine without seeing the place for myself can you take me there well i hope you manage to fix your sickness sometime soon and i don't i don't mind at all feel free to at feel free to at me Shogun actually rate this is incredible. I was thinking. But would it gliding be faster? <laughs> For some reason. This reminds me of when I was a kid and I'd always be like so since my neighborhood has this like has like on the sidewalks these little concrete slabs that kind of like line 
people's yards. I, I used to walk on those all the time as a kid, and sometimes I'd fall off. <laughs> Almighty Shogun, what brings you to the eye pump? No, not at all. Uh, apologies, uh, I still don't quite understand. Are you here to? Uh, she just wants to browse your books. Bro. The Almighty Shogun wishes to read light novels. Yes. Um, the eye publishing house's novels are mostly targeted at the general public, and the content is all kinds of strange. I'm not um. sure we have anything quite to the. Oh, my my taste. I'm, I'm sorry, my first thought was that they were publishing hentai or ecchi. I'm just here to try something new. There's no fun in reading the same kind of thing over and over again. In principle, you're absolutely right. It'll be fine. If there's anything the Shogun doesn't understand, we'll explain it. Well, okay then. Uh, please proceed to the bookshelf over there. There are some winning entries from the This Novel is Amazing competition. I've just finished compiling them into a saleable form. Um, don't take them too seriously. Okay, let's go then. It's so jarring how different I is from Raiden. How can this be? Did I underestimate the caliber of this material? I know every individual word in these books' titles, so why is it that they make no sense to me in these particular combination oh god take this one for example the good thing about yep being yep the light novels is that i only need to eat sunsetias to become strong <laughs> have you ever have you guys ever heard of the light novel i've been reincarnated as a washing machine i was reading that some time ago it's it's amazing no not a washing machine i've been reincarnated Recarnated as a vending machine. It was a different kind of machine, not a washing machine. It's so long. Is it true that hilly trolls grow stronger from eating sunsetias? It's just a narrative device. Narrative device. So it's made up. What's the point of that? Without being grounded in reality. Also, I'm barely certain that hilly trolls can't write stories. So. Does this author claim to be documenting Hilly Troll life from an oh my god, I perhaps? Uh, I'm not starting to understand Kuroda's reservations right about now. Uh, how about we choose for you? We can pick out some. All right then. I believe myself to be. Right. <laughs> I have high hopes though. This seems like Miko's style, so I'm sure the stories are very entertaining. So. Miko is an avid light novel reader. I love that. I love that for her. You're born as Raiden with all unlimited power. I. I. I want to recommend this to Ryan Shogun. Can I do that? With a premise like this, it's no wonder. Uh, Hyman thinks it might be best not to bring this one up with A. We might get the in trouble. Well, if someone turned into Paimon and did a bunch. No. I want. I wanted. I wanted. I wanted A to. I wanted Raiden Shogun to read her fanfiction about her. Her fanfiction about her. Someone's fanfiction about her. Like that could easily become the top martial arts. You do have a point, and a character. But her whole thing was that she snuffed out people's ambitions. Hmm. I. 
recommending Ryan Shogun a harem. Okay. A solid and elegant. A solid and elegant harem story. some good stories sorry how to do it hey Paimon thought we agreed not to bring that one up it's okay I find it quite interesting I didn't realize that this was how ordinary people viewed the Shogun she would never use the Muso no Hitotachi as frivolously as she does in the pages of this book nor would she ever use it as a means of venting emotions. In reality, the reason for drawing her blade determines the martial form to use and the degree of power with which to imbue it. I see. Imagine if someone wrote an isekai about someone turning into you. How would you feel? I don't know how I'd feel about someone being isekai as me. Since there is such a great deal of difference between the story and the reality, I don't feel offended at all. On the contrary, I find the author's powers of imagination quite admirable. That said, I hear that Yai Publishing House's novels are all reviewed by Miko herself. Oh my. Which means that the content of this book must have been approved by... <laughs> In fact, no. <laughs> so what do you think of Yai Publishing House? Do you like the stories we picked? What I take from these stories is not so much the content itself, but what they represent in terms of the effects of back when I decided to isolate myself in the plane of in accordance with my wishes, the Shogun did her best to create an eternal nation. But the fact is that both the food and the stories, I disagree with your point of view. That's what I would say if we were still in the plane of Euthymia. But the truth is right here in front of my eyes. And I can't deny it. And that's exactly why we brought you out. To take a look around and sure it's not the same as you remember. But one way or another, people are loving life in the present. Yes, you're right. I'm wary of any and all change. But I do not wish for my pursuit of eternity to stop human lives from changing changing for the better includes making Ryan Shogun fanfiction apparently thank you for inviting me out this trip has been quite eye-opening this may be an everyday occurrence for you I've seen a lot and it's made me think a lot I really can't Ooh, great idea Ace had a wonderful time take a photo <sighs> once again I'm faced with a combination of words that makes absolutely no sense to me. It's okay. Come with us. We'll find a scenic spot and show you what we mean. <laughs> That's so much more, uh, Jesus. How much more do I have right now? I almost have Venti to the level I want him at. Well, the max level I can level him up at right now. Wrong area. I'm a dumbass. Um, it's not that hard to follow a map. I swear. There we go. Certified dumbass over here. Look at my channel description, all the information so, you use here. Uh, we're taking a photo of you. Just leave the hard work to us. All you need to do is stand over there. I like and her little tattoo on of her. You know, she's on the back. Basically, a photo makes a visual. I forgot to point out with my pointer, I mean, mouse, time, but so it makes a great souvenir. Okay. 
So what exactly is str Ah, I see. So in other words, I need to do some sort of visually agreeable act. Oh, the more I think about it, the more How should I pose? Help me out here. It should look good, but not too old. casual. Uh, how about all right? Well, I'll leave it casual. All right. Well, okay. I'll try that. All right. Well, uh, this doesn't feel very me. All right. Well, okay. I'll try that. All right. Well, casual. Uh, how about this? Okay. Oh, she's whatever most started. natural. Let's pick a good angle to record. Here we go. Two archons together. I gotta take a picture. If only yeah, I, I mean I A wasn't looking this way. Oh well. I felt rather rigid, but it actually looks more natural than I imagined. The pose is exactly the same, and so is the scenery in the background. I can't imagine how it's achieved. I will admit it is kind of cute watching I be um, so fascinated by the photo. Just saying. That's what makes it so special! There's no way. There's no way that I... Hat Raiden is growing on me a tiny bit. Hang on. I'm still struggling to understand. So, the one in this... If it's not me, then why does she... Uh, okay, that's way above time. And... Hey, that's right! Do you think... Of course I do. It was never my intention to place control of Inazuma into anybody else's hands. So then, who does that make you? Well, I'm still me. There is n my exist... Huh. I am me. There is only one of me. But I can exist in many- The Shogun, for example, is one of my forms of existence. The question of whether or not she is me is not determined by any of- In that case, this picture is- Hmm. So even I, who seeks eternity, am- Then, how can I ask Inazuma and everyone who live- Everything I have encountered on this journey with you has been from beyond my existing sphere of knowledge. <sighs> You've seen a lot of my ignorant side today. Maybe you can't tell, but all this has challenged my understanding of things. Based on what I have seen today, I am forced to accept that Inazuma... But it would be incorrect to conclude from this. Both the Vision Hunt Decree and the statue of the Omnipresent God were conceived as a means of bringing about eternity. But if I were really getting closer to eternity, none. <clears throat> Perhaps. <laughs> you just now Perhaps figured out. Sounds divine, unlike Ace figured, and that means that we. Master Kamaji, Master Kamaji. Hmm. Why is it getting so noisy down there? Oh, that sounded like Ipe. Ipe, is that someone from the Tenryo? Yep. Let's find out. Oh my. It's you. I... Huh? The... The almighty shogun. You must be looking for my master, Kujo Kamaji? I, I am very... It's okay. I'm not here to see him. We just heard you... Yes. Master Kamaji... In fairness, he does have a habit of taking long walks and coming back late. 
It's perfectly possible that he just found somewhere he liked. But for some reason... Kujo Kamachi. A descendant of the Kujo clan. I That's right. Uh, apologies, since the head of the clan is in poor health at the moment, and... I have heard that things are quite tumultuous with the Tenryo Commission at present. Does this have anything to do with Kujo Kamachi? Forgive us, almighty Shogun. The, Ku the Kujo clan's reputation is damaged, and its power over the Tenryo Commission is in decline. Plus you, um... <clears throat> you have yet to issue a ver... So... Master Kamaji decided to enter negotiations with the Takutsukas. Surely they would be discussing something like that at their headquarters, right? Actually, they decided to hold this one elsewhere. I'm a little... The meeting place is in the mountains near the Grand Narokami Shrine. Takatsukasa. Another familiar name. Yes, yes, that's why Master Kamaji decided to discuss things, but then... I understand they must have had a lot of ground to cover, but still, I've searched all over the city. If he really hasn't returned yet, then... Yeah, I thought of that possibility too. No, no need. I'm probably my just cat already wants things. to leave my room even Besides, though he just got still in. At it, they'll only blame me for interrupting the negotiations. I'm only a lowly servant. But Master Kamaji and I grew up... I'm not as smart as Master, so I can't really share his burdens. But the last thing I'd want would be for him to come to harm when I... Hmm. What you... Let's go see what's happening. With me present, they are unlikely to blame you, even if we do happen to interrupt the negotiations. Besides, this has only come about because I failed to make a timely decision. This issue started with me. Awesome. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to say. I'll say it. Thank you so much, Shogun. I'll keep looking around in the meantime, too. Absolutely radical stuff, right? And <laughs> Let me mark out the location of the bit. Getting closer to finally getting the level 80. Soon, TM. Oh! Thank you for the follow, Vysak. Hopefully, I pronounced your name correctly. I, I honestly jumped when you fo when you followed. <laughs> oh. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oof, I'm okay. Would it gliding be faster? No problem. It it happens to me a lot, a lot. So <laughs> it's all good. Is this it? This little fucking hut here? No way. Okay, apparently. Okay, good. I pronounced your name correctly. What? I can't think of a reason anyone would want to build a structure like this deep and I feel something that doesn't belong. Huh? We should proceed with caution. Oh, I get to play as the clan I may well be in trouble. All right. What artifacts does I have? Noblesse oblige. I don't know if that's like. I don't know what the best artifacts for Striden are. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Let's get down to business. No Wait. What's my weapon? Shine down. 
you know, when I first saw Ren's weapon, I really thought she was like not a sword user, but what a halberd do? Sword? No, I think I thought she was gonna be a sword user. I'm not entirely sure why, but. I'm kind of wondering why they wouldn't just, like, let you through once they see that, um, see that Ryan's here, but go off, I guess. Like, I don't know, if I saw the god of the land just come, come to my, come to where I am, I'd kind of, I kind of just shit myself. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really fight it. I was curious what the effect was, because I was like, this damage is going kind of nuts. Oh, okay. I pause for one moment, I get hit on the fucking- I get bonked. Oh, her talent is level 9. Yeah, that makes the- that makes sense. I was like, why is this so strong? But it's literally level 9. I honestly don't need to switch characters at all. Ryan's taking care of it herself. I kinda want Raiden after this trial. It'd be nice to have all the um, Archons one day, but it's not like my top priority because I've already gotten all the characters I wanted, so I know I'm not really gonna use them. Um, but it would be good for um, the Abyssal Spire because I want it to have a good second team. Ryan would probably be better than Beto for it. As much as I love Beto. Hey boys, do you mind? Oh wait, shit. Wrong character. It's okay. I'm gonna tag. Beep. Switch to Kokomi. Good with the Electro Guard shoe. Can't see shit. There we go. I thought they were still alive, so I was still attacking. It's weird because she like sounds like her puppet form when she, when you're playing as her. She's so strong. No wonder everyone rules for her. Well, aside, well, that and her, um, her, um, um, <laughs> um, her, uh, how do I say this? Her. Her well endowedness. I have so much crit damage. There's no other way to say it. We all know the reason why everyone like, well, why most people like Raiden. She looks so. She looks like a girl boss when she walks in. Almighty Shogun. 
Shogun, what are you? Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan. Explain. What yeah, we all definitely pulled her for her strength. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, we're just discussing some minor issues that have cropped up in the Tenryo Commission recently. Really, it's nothing worth the almighty Shogun worrying about. And these minor issues warranted the secluded location and the hiring of Ronin and Kairagi to keep guard? Well, uh, uh, there's been a lot of turmoil lately. It was just out of security considerations, that's all. Silence. <laughs> Descendant of the Kujo clan. Your turn. All right. I came here intending to negotiate, but it turned out all they were interested in was a written confession from the Kujo clan. A written confession? Yes. A statement acknowledging every crime committed by the Kujo clan since the inception of the Vision Hunt Decree, including all the recent misconduct. All factual statements, of course. Not a single one of them fabricated. I can't deny that. But it also emphasizes the Takatsukasa clan's achievements throughout the document, claiming they stood steadfast all along and fought back against the crisis. These are all falsehoods. Says who? Why, are you two-faced? I'm just stating the facts. I'm sure the almighty Shogun can discern the truth. All the Takatsukasa clan is trying to do is make themselves look good, so they'll be first in line to replace the Kujo clan. Why else would you push a false narrative in the written confession that paints your clan in a good light and try to make me sign it under duress? What are you talking about? You're not under duress, we're just nego- I believe I now understand the situation. Don't listen to his nonsense. I'm sure you're well aware of the major failings of the Kujo clan. Surely you of everyone knows. Not a single word they say can be trusted. Um, are you really arguing with a god? <laughs> you are quite mistaken if you think your dispute is of any interest to me. Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan, you wish to become the new Tenryo commissioner. Do I understand this correctly? Uh, well, yes, of course. It's the eternal pursuit of everyone in the Tenryo Commission to offer our lives in service of the almighty Shogun. Sorry if my cat's being loud, he's purring in my lap right now. Then the situation is not as complicated as you seem to have made it. After all, I am the one who appoints the Tenryo Commissioner. The process is quite simple. I see what she's doing. Anyone who can beat me in a duel becomes the new Commissioner. Uh, sorry, a duel with the almighty Shogun? The first Tenryo Commissioner demonstrated his will with the blade in his hand. That is why the title has been passed down within the Kujo clan ever since. If you want me to appoint a new clan, then naturally, there must first be a new duel. I, uh... Do you not know how to wield a blade? Or do you simply doubt your abilities on account of your advanced age and declining physical condition? Here you are talking about offering your life, and yet you are too afraid to face my- Positive life. flashbacks? No! Pain. Uh, well... Well, never mind. What about one of you, then? Anyone who can defeat me, Takatsukasa or not, will be appointed the new Tenryo Commissioner. Uh, does not a single person dare to face me? I... I will challenge you, Almighty Shogun. What? Descendant of the Kujo clan. Regrettably, even if you win against me, it cannot atone for the wrongs committed under the Kujo name. I realize that. I don't stand a chance of winning against you anyway. I know full well that the mistakes my father made ought to spell the end of the Kujo clan's legacy in the Tenryo Commission. Even when I was executing the Vision Hunt Decree, I had doubts about my father's decisions. I knew that what I was doing was wrong, but that was as far as I went. I doubted, and I ruminated. I understood the situation perfectly well, but I took no action, and I didn't save a single person. That's kind of an L on your behalf, then, my guy. I accept the Kujo clan's decline as punishment for my deeds. I can't even say that I failed to prevent it. Because in order to fail, you have to have at least tried. To be True. brutally honest, for someone of your strength, there is nothing you could have done, even if you had tried. Yes. I'm too weak. 
my father ignores me. My elder brother can't help me. And I even need Ipe to set me straight at times. It's the way it's always been. But if nothing else, then right here, right now in the Kujo clan's final hours, it is I who represent the clan, like my father before me. His duties are now mine to perform. Just as the Shogun said, a forefather of mine once showed his will with his sword. Then please, let me, Kujo Kamachi, end the story of the Kujo clan in the same way that it began. This is my last chance to do something. This is patently meaningless, but I accept. Come forward. Oh my. Execution time. The Kujo clan's honor was forged with courage, tempered with integrity, and shines beyond life and death. Show me whether your blade can bear the weight of your name. Ready to learn, Almighty Shogun. Pretty sure he's holding the sword wrong, but I don't know. I've never used a sword before in my life. It just looks wrong to me. Another anomaly in eternity. Nevertheless, it appears that the Kujo honor still courses through your veins. Kujo Kamaji is wounded. Descendants of the Takatsukasa clan, it is your responsibility to take care of him. You may not have the courage to challenge me, but I trust that you are capable of attending to a small matter such as this. Yes, of course. I apologize. I'm no, sorry. you're not. I had heard that the Kujo clan is no longer fit to shoulder the work of the Tenryo Commission. The search for a successor to the role of Tenryo Commissioner is indeed a matter of great urgency. However, following this duel, I have decided to postpone the Kujo clan's punishment for the time being. In the meantime, I expect the Takatsukasa clan to continue supporting the Kujo clan as before. As you instruct, so it shall be done. We would not dare question the almighty Shokin's will. Finally, if you still think you can copy the Fatui strategy of providing me with deceptive information to produce Ooh. flaws in my judgment, you will see me appear once again as I have done today. Only next time, my blade will show no mercy. Go off. Thank you, almighty Shokin, for your wisdom and mercy. That will do. I will have the Okuzumeshu continue the investigation from here. Come with me. Let's find a quiet place. Right? Monkeys, indeed.
time to deal with the situation. Oh, you think so? I thought I was rather accommodating. If it had been the Shogun, she would have decapitated Kujo Kamaji without a second thought. Oh god. <laughs> I do believe he was prepared for that outcome. I could s the Kujo clan has undergone a dramatic change from its glory days to its present decline. He has shown me how some things remain the same, even as the- I also have you to thank. The things we experienced out on the streets, and the photo you took of me, they helped me come to this realization too. So what's next for the Kujo clan? Not a chance. Even if their heir was someone who showed promise, their past mistakes cannot be erased. Still, I will give them a little more time. After all, they are not the only ones who have made mistakes. The Shogun does not make mistakes. She is incapable of doing so. But I, as A, would like to offer my apologies. I have much to contemplate in the days to come. But at least, I think I'll leave that to the Shogun. The greatest threat to eternity is still the erosion that comes with time. As I said, the Shogun has a robust system to protect her against modification. This is because I anticipated that I myself would change or- But I've made up my mind. So I will do what needs to be- mm. <laughs> This has certainly been a memorable series of events. Absolutely. You sorted out the Tenryo Commission, and if you enjoyed your trip, we should get you out again sometime. No need. There's no place for such things. Also, please stop making it sound as if I somehow need the company. <laughs> okay, my period of solitude will now continue, but it will not last too much longer. I will leave you humans to deal with any minor issue. Okay, see you next time! Considering a lot of what happened was pretty unexpected, things seem to have worked out so The only thing left to do is return the path. I want to see, see how many um, Electro sigils I've done so far. Hello, Sacred Chakra. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally immediately clicked out. Oh, nope, not, mu not much more. Oops! Miko, we're back! Did you know? Well, then. <laughs> How amusing. The almighty Shogun goes downtown, and suddenly she's like a wide-eyed country girl trying to find her bearings in the big- What a shame I didn't get to see it for myself. It's fine. She wouldn't mind. So, from what you were saying, it seems that she's finally begun to comprehend what form eternity should take? That's the most important outcome of this trip. To be honest, I wasn't expecting you'd make such great progress when I lent you the pass permit. Yeah, it seems like she's not gonna- To put it nicely, even deities indulge in wishful thinking. To put it more bluntly, there are things that even the Seven can't do when faced with something- <laughs> Take- Anyway, it sounds like you had a very pleasant trip and even had the chance to see A's less formal side. Next time you wish to see her, you can come and take the pass permit from me again. She would never admit to it, but she does, in fact, get quite lonely. What? But she Because she is a god. It's not that gods don't need the company of others, just that the idea of a god having company seems indulgent. But you don't belong to this world. <laughs> well, we finished writing Shogun's story quest. One pull. One pull on Yellen's banner. Nothing. As expected.
Oh, this is replenish 18 days. Okay. Yay, we got him. Now I'm gonna level 80 at long last. So, that's it for today's stream. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys next stream. Bye!